very good evening there uh, today I'm going to talk about the fail series uh, very interesting one and uh, uh, so uh, how to actually uh, fill the cells according to your requirement right you might have seen guys that um, when you do this uh, when I type the, this one two and uh, I drag this you know I get this one two three four five six seven eight and so on right so uh, in case if you uh, if you're not getting this option then please click on this and check that it should be on the fill series generally sometimes what happens uh, people complain that you know they are not able to uh, get this fill series so by default if if your option is this copy sales you know you see this will be something which you would be getting and this can create a problem for you so why uh, this is coming because when you when you wrote this one two and when you drag this option like this so what it actually it did is is if by default you are this uh, you know this drop down it would be on the copy cells then it is going to copy it so what you need to do is just don't worry about it simply click here and do this option fill series right so it is going to uh, give you this uh, you know the numbers in a sequence order now uh, what if you want uh, that after let's say a one it should be three and then it for uh, and then five and then seven and then you know nine so with the jump of one you want your numbers to be something you know uh, you want that numbers to be in this way so it's quite simple uh, you can do one thing uh, you can uh, select this uh, range let's say uh, you select this range suppose you want to cover these many cells now go to the home tab and uh, go to the fill and uh, go to the series option and when you do this uh, by default it should be on the columns because you are working on the column so this linear is option which we are going to select right in case if something else is selected please select this linear option box and step value is 1 right and store value is um, going to be uh, let's say um, I'm gonna say that store value would be let's say 10 right and and yes I just forgot one thing that uh, you'll, ha you'll have to write some numbers starting point here otherwise this is not gonna work right so let me say here one okay and now let me select this and go to the fill and uh, this series option and again linear and step value is one so I say two and store value is what let's say you want to end this number uh, maybe at the 10 so see what will happen okay so you see that uh, we uh, with the help of this step value it is skipping one and the moment it comes on the nine the next value would be 11 right so 11 would not be there because what we have done is we have actually while deciding the series we clearly said that the store value has to be 10 right so if, if I say that store value has to be let's say 20 uh, with the step value uh, let's say 5 then what will happen see it will start with the one and then increment five and keep on moving forward right so let me uh, just show this again to you maybe you can change the value as well uh, let's say this is a 10 and uh, come to this again fill and series uh, and linear so you want to give the gap of five let's say and you want to go till uh, let's say uh, maybe 50 okay and press okay so you'll get this difference with the 5 until you reach the 50 level so two cells are extra not a problem but this is how you can uh, do the things right similarly you can do the things horizontally as well um, uh, I'll show you I'll upload the another video and I'll talk about that fill series horizontally as well but this is how you can actually uh, do the things right and uh, uh, so what else we can do uh, before I just wrap up the uh, video uh, yeah I just wanted to tell you one more thing uh, that in case uh, if uh, this the same thing which we which we have done through the fill series it can be done with the this way as well you just do this plus this m1 plus let's say 5 okay now this is when you drag this this formula will keep on adding plus 5 to it right so this is how uh, this is uh, something which we have done by using a formula m1 plus 5 so as I keep on moving down it will keep on taking the uh, upper value right as a general rule whenever you drag your formula down uh, you're always the row number always increases by, increases by 1 so m1 is here and as you can check here it, it is m2 so it is simply adding the uh, 5 to this 15 and that's how you can actually uh, 
create your own kind of a uh, you know uh, sequence as well and uh, the other way I have already shown you that you can go to the fill and you can click on the series right so I hope you like the video and I'll come with uh, some another video this is my email ID in case if you are looking for some Excel training and uh, along with the VBA please let me know about it I also teach um, MS access database access VBA so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please watch my videos only on the YouTube and in case if you have any questions just let me know about it thank you so much have a wonderful day bye bye